Hey guys, what's going on? Professor here, and today I'm going to be doing a special video. I know it's not one of my normal upload days. I uh, just want to wish everybody a happy late Valentine's Day. Uh, this should be going up on Friday, the 15th day after Valentine's Day. Uh, I just wanted to show off the new uh, seasonal brickhead that was released this year for Valentine's Day. There is a puppy this year. Uh, last year, it was a bumblebee that I also have. I don't have it built yet. Um, that I may also be doing soon. I'm not entirely sure. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Uh, but I do also have that. This is the one they had last year. And they released a new one for Valentine's Day this year that is a puppy. So today I'm just going to be doing kind of like a short, quick little review about it. Uh, show off the box, the instructions, and then the actual brick heads itself. And, uh, yeah. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And let me know what you think about this brick head without any further ado. Let's dive right into it. Uh, I'm going to start out first off uh, showing the box here. So I'll move the brick head out of the way. Put the box into frame. So here you can see, obviously, you have the brick head on the front. What it's going to look like. Rec this set has been recommended for ages 10 and up. Uh, was given set number 40349. Comes with 147 pieces and sold for $10 here in the U.S. Uh, it's like official name is the puppy as you can see down there in the bottom right It also shows you the number that it is it is number 81 on the top here uh, Just kind of gives you some more of the same information uh, in the top right shows you like the little heart that you get uh, As well the side just some information there uh, The back you get another picture of the model uh, the set number as well as all of the other seasonal brickheads That are being released this year except for uh, one. There's only one here that on the here that isn't shown just the uh, Dragon Dance guy for Lunar New Year. But all the other ones are shown on here, obviously. The puppy here for Valentine's Day. You got the chick for Easter. The ghost for um, Halloween. And then the reindeer, elf, and elfie. All for Christmas this year. They did not, or they are not going to, at least I believe, uh, release one for Thanksgiving like they did last year. They had a turkey. Uh, nothing for Thanksgiving. Um, but they are going to be doing three for Christmas this year. Instead of just the Mr and Mrs. Claus uh, over here shows you a picture of the uh, brick head oh, with the stands at the side that I opened it on. You can either open it here uh, with this tape right here. You can break that tape open or you could cut this tape piece and open it from that side the bottom. Uh, just kind of the same information from the side. Nothing really interesting going on there, but yeah, that is the box. Uh, the instructions are pretty normal brick head instructions. Uh, they were folded in the middle, so it, uh, I tried to fold them back. It's a little difficult to do. Uh, but yeah, pretty normal instructions. They do have on here the name of the set in English. I believe this is French and then uh, Spanish as well, along with the number. Um, so yeah, these are just the regular instructions. In the back though, however, which I do think is pretty cool, um, it shows off the next seasonal brickhead that's coming out. So obviously you can see here the chick, which uh, also has the number, the three different languages, and the set number. That goes along with it. it tells you when it's releasing which this one has already released uh in february and uh, i probably will be picking this one up as well and doing a review around easter time for that uh but yeah let's get uh brickhead back over here you can check him out um uh, so it's a pretty simple brickhead i uh, guess i'll show you the stand first because that's much easier uh so like all the seasonal brickheads it comes with like your normal brickhead stand right here and then it has like the two side panels one on each side um, this one is the exact same on each side, kind of has like this little uh, grass quarter circle piece, which is a nice light green color um, on each side. And then it has like some flowers, which uh, I don't know if this is a new piece or not. This like little inside flower thing. I don't really think it is um, like right. Let me see if I can take it off this piece right here that actually holds the flowers. I don't know if that's new or not, uh, but I really like it. It's a really uh, good way to be able to display flowers like this. So like any flower pieces that you have. Um, you can display very nicely. So as you can see, we have two of those, one on each side. Uh, that's pretty much it for the stand. The uh, puppy itself is holding the heart over here that I showed earlier that's actually on the box. And then on this side, uh, you can see uh, a flower. So that's really nice. It's actually being held on here uh, through a nice little piece that then holds the flower. And uh, this can sort of move a little bit. And then this, if you want to, you can rotate the heart. Uh, the only other like uh, mobility thing this has is you can similarly to the uh, Easter Bunny from last year you can move the ears both ears up and down 
uh, they go all the way up into this position if you would like them that way and then can sit all the way down just like that um, so that's something that I really do like all as well uh, but yeah they have it has the tail on the back that can move up and down uh, that's pretty simple the back is uh, kind of not bland it's just plain which that's fine uh, this is a pretty simple brickhead so you just kind of have like the tan right there along with the tail uh, nothing else much really going on I do like the kind of like little white belly here I do think that's a nice uh, little addition They have the normal uh, circle with uh, white squares in it for the eyes um, and I really like the way that they added the tongue and then the nose on there but yeah pretty much this entire brickhead is just uh, like the tan kind of like dog fur color um, and then they have sort of like some of the features like the ears tail and all those sorts of things uh, so that's pretty much it for this brickhead um and then yeah that'll be it for this video though uh like i said earlier um i do have the lego valentine's day seasonal set from last year the b so if that's something you'd like to see i also have the dragon dance guy planning on doing something with that soon not entirely sure um but i do hope that you guys enjoyed this video i want to wish everybody a happy late valentine's day and uh if you did like this video don't forget Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, some other things that you'd like to see and what you think of this set. Uh, and that'll be all. Peace!